In Britain, we waste a lot of food, about 280 kilos per person per year. For the average adult, that's the equivalent of three times our own body weight. In the UK, the cost of that waste is more than 10 billion pounds. And in a hungry world, that's a crying shame. The Oxford Food Bank is working hard to prevent waste. Each day, we collect food from supermarkets and wholesalers, which would otherwise be thrown away. We've been going since 2009. It's a simple idea that's been a huge success. Absolutely way beyond any of us ever thought we would be doing. If somebody had said two years ago that we'd be doing eight hours a day, five days a week, and a morning shift Saturday and Sunday, that we'd be getting rid of one and a half tons of food a week. Yeah. I wouldn't have believed them. The Oxford Food Bank relies on food donated by suppliers. Fresh Direct, a multi-million pound business based in Bista, has been consistently generous. How, how many boxes are lettuce and how many are...? Uh... Uh, there are 26 of spinach. Yeah. They work hard to reduce their own waste, but in such a huge operation, supply and demand are never exactly matched. So, every day they set aside one or two pallets of high-quality, wholesome food and give it to us. It's the right thing to do, because the, the product that we give to the food bank is, is edible and, and, and fit for purpose, as we would call it. It's just it doesn't fit, it's not fit for purpose for the supply chain and the customer base that we've got. So, it, I suppose, ultimately, it's the right thing to do, and it gets us out there in the community and the local, local community around our depots. The other main source of food is supermarkets. Sainsbury's has supported the Oxford Food Bank from the beginning. Hello, is this is the food for the food bank. Yes, it is. The food bank operates seven days a week. The daily pickups have become part of the store's routine. It's business as usual. Um, the, the food bank is part of the team. We are part of their team. Um, and it's something that we're used to now. It, uh, it gives us no extra work. And it's great to see different people giving up their private time um, supporting the food bank as well. Each afternoon, the food we collect is sorted for delivery the following morning. We handle a huge variety of food, and it all goes to charities in the city. We supply more than 25 Oxford charities, providing about 6,000 meals a week. Hi, Ash. How are you? Yeah, good. Well, uh, quite lots of goodies today. Oh, quite a lot there, okay. One big customer is Lucy Faithful House, a residential charity for homeless people. The food the food bank provides means diets have improved. Because we've actually had our budgets cut slightly as well, the same as every government situation. It's, they've all been cut, so it's a case of, OK, take away the orange juice for breakfast, take away something. Now we can afford to do those extra little bits by having the food bank. Things like avocados, tomatoes, artichokes, asparagus, I wouldn't be able to afford those. Oxford is a beautiful city which attracts tourists from all over the world. But like any other city, it has its problems. The food bank has been able to give something to those people who are often forgotten. This is a drop-in centre for people with mental health difficulties. A good hot meal is all part of the service. This is um, the highlight uh, of People's Day. This is the only time when people uh, will have a, uh, a main meal of the day and some people can't uh, cook. Or, and it's, I don't know what the people would do without, without this main meal and the support of Food Bank. The Oxford Food Bank is entirely voluntary. No salaries are paid. All the money comes from local people and organisations. Rotary clubs and charitable foundations have given money. A local businessman lets us use the depot free of charge. And individuals have been generous with their time. Students, too, have made a huge contribution. They're very idealistic, they're very enthusiastic. I actually think that we provide things for the students as well. Um, a lot of our students are in their first year at the University of Oxford. Um, this provides a chance for them to see a little bit more of Oxford, a little bit more of Oxfordshire, but also to see uh, parts of society that maybe they wouldn't have seen until now. And to get involved and feel really good about being a student in the city, feeling part of the city, not just part of the university. 
The Oxford Food Bank started with a simple idea, to collect waste food and give it to people in need. The value of the food we deliver runs into hundreds of thousands of pounds a year. We believe other towns and cities should copy what we're doing. And if you look at the ingredients that you need, you need supermarkets, you need volunteers, and you need students. And every city in the country has those three critical ingredients, so there's absolutely no reason it shouldn't be done elsewhere. The Oxford Food Bank is making a difference. Good food is getting to those most in need, and less is going into landfill. To make sure it continues to thrive, it needs your support. So, if you can, make a donation or get involved.